Welcome to episode 53 of GLRS Beer Reviews. As you can see today I will be reviewing Bogues Draft. So this is uh, quite a popular Australian beer, um, particularly in the southern states, um, in Tasmania. Uh, this one comes in a 750ml long neck bottle. Uh, it also comes in uh, Stubbies, uh, which is I believe 375ml uh, for this Bogues Draft, um, and 4.6% alcohol by volume. So it's brewed in Tasmania. Um, it's the entry level beer pretty much for Bogues. Uh, as you probably know, Bogues Premium and a few other Bogues products are around. Um, but this is the entry level, so I've had this before, but it's been a little while. I remember it uh, being quite nice. And I remember drinking a bit of it when I went to Tasmania a couple of years back. But it's got a nice smell there. It was a twist stop, as you can see. So now for the pour, just a nice glass. Okay, it's pouring up quite well. Okay. Nice head on it. It's a uh, thicker head than I would expect of uh, a macro lager, um, but yeah, it's uh, a little bit more th thick in consistency. As for the as for the head, yeah, it's probably three fingers ahead. Um, color, uh, sort of a darker golden color. Uh, yeah, I've definitely seen lighter beers, but uh, a dark golden color. Carbonation is moderate. Uh, to high. As for the smell, I'm getting a smell of grain, malts, and a floral uh, sort of grassy hoppy smell. Yeah, grassy hoppy smell coming through. As for adjuncts, uh, as for adjuncts, I can't get too much of a smell of adjuncts coming through, which is nice. It's got a real fresh sort of smell. Okay, now for the taste test. Most important part. Cheers. It's got a nice hop hop bite there. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, it took my uh, breath away. <laughs> a nice hop bite. Um, it's got a nice sweet malty taste and uh, an even bitterness that follows afterwards. This is not a bad um, entry level lager. It's actually quite nice, quite refreshing. Uh, if you're thirsty, this would really hit the spot and it's doing that for me right right now. Um, yeah, so you definitely got the, the grains in there and the malts, um, but there's a really nice hop, uh, grassy note to this beer. Uh, for an entry level beer, you don't normally see that um, or taste that, but yeah, it, it's, it's very nice. It's quite crisp. Yeah, it's got a nice bitterness to it as well. Um, some other beers, you know, that the bitterness is um, not much in this sort of range. Um, it can be a bit watery um, or have a watered down feeling uh, or feel in the mouth. Um, but this one, yeah, it's got a really nice even bitterness that follows out after the malty sweetness um, from the hops. It's actually really nice. I'll just give it another sip and a score. Yeah, I like that bitterness. I, I find this is a nice bitter Australian lager. Yeah, and as you said, the lacing's quite quite good. Um, pretty impressed with this beer. Um, for an entry level beer, you know, you can pick it up quite cheaply. You know, it's the same price as other competitors, you know, VB or Two is New generally. Um, but it is a very nice brew. I think it's uh, um, very good quality for the price. Uh, you know, in comparison to VB and Two is New, I think this is vastly superior. Uh, and because of that, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a very, very good entry beer, entry level beer. 8 out of 10 for me for Bogues Draft. Thanks for watching another G Hallow Beer Review, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.